Don't mess with us. Harrison Ford blows up Meg's The Tig post exposed to disrespect towards the Jewish people. Harry and Meghan's fanbase use of images of the Jews to threaten Politico writer for stating her opinions. The Twitter discourse on this topic today is vile and alarming. A lot of the arguments insist the columnist is an R word for including Meg. Yet no one seems to take issue with Kanye West being included on the list too, for blatant anti-Semitism. And now some of the Sussex squad with truly unfortunate initials are doing the same. Using something so horrific, monumental and history and world shifting is perhaps the final frontier for this whole weird debacle. Considering Harry's Nazi cosplay past, one could argue this content is on brand for the Sussexes. I'm Jewish here, and all I can say about past Meg and a ghostwriter writing that crap over at the TIG, oh brother, give me a break. That Meg, she can really relish that Jewish food from all the name drop delis and had Daddy Thomas even send some to her when she was homesick via express mail. Oh my god. Sometimes wish we could get a first husband, Trevor Engelson, to expound on all of this. The fact that she completely misunderstands the dish and associates it with Jewish shows her own ignorance. She just wants to attract more Jewish fans and present herself as relevant. However, a lack of understanding of the Jewish culture and community infuriated a lot of people. On the TIG blog, she wrote, The comfort of warm silken broth of mild onion flavour and fluffy yet textured matzo balls lapping in a full bowl of feel-good soup. I have a long-time love affair with this chicken soup for the soul. I used to sit at Cantor's Deli with my mum, just a stone's throw from Fairfax High where she went to school. It's a vibrant Jewish community infused into every local pastry shop and market. Ham and tashin and gefilte fish for the taking. I would dunk pampernickel bagel chips into the bowl of soup until they were softened but not soggy. A delicate balance I fine-tuned at the age of nine. In college, when I was homesick, my dad would go to Greenblatt's or Victor's Deli. An overnight express mail me the soup I loved so much. Packed in dry ice, no less. Easily making it the most expensive matzo ball soup known to man. But it was my penicillin, and my association with this soup, as with most foods I love, was rich in story and family memories, of feeling warm and feeling loved. The kicker in all of this, my family isn't even Jewish. Although Ford fights Nazis, as Indiana Jones, one lesser known fact about the actor is his Jewish heritage. Harrison's mother, Dorothy Odora, was an Ashkenazi Jew born in Brooklyn. My mother was a Russian Jew, Ford told GQ magazine. As a man, I've always felt Irish. As an actor, I've always felt Jewish. Ford famously said in an interview on Inside the Actors Studio in 2000. He wanted to emphasise that his love of Jewish blood is what made him perform so well in the movie. Harrison Ford is famous for defending his Jewish heritage and has been vocal in criticising those who take advantage of Jewish culture in order to increase their own popularity. In a post from the past, shortly after Meghan wrote a false post about Jewish food, Ford wrote, Maybe the problem of cultural exploitation is getting more and more serious, especially as these wartime movies appear more and more. Maybe these empty-minded duds should take a basic course in culture of the peoples that they want to take advantage of. I'm not surprised that the gruesome Sussex's fanbase has a highly abominable attitude towards the tragedy, given that the Sparrow himself has proven in the past he's totally fine wearing a Nazi uniform for fun. One could say that peasants will follow their edgelord's example. 